Yes, welcome to DC Economics. Today we're going to look on how we interpret the meaning of our intercept and beta one in the regression model. Beta one is the slope coefficients in the in the reg linear regression model. So in a fitting set line a data set of yield, the following prediction lines were given. We are given the y estimated is equal to six plus one point four x one, and we require to, to interpret the meaning of our intercept to interpret the meaning of the slope beta one to predict the values of y for x which is three point five. Solution. Uh -huh. Now suppose uh, the regression we are required to for the part A uh, to to bring out the meaning of our intercepts, or sometimes called the beta node. So from uh, our regression model, we have y estimated is equal to six plus one point four x one, one point four beta one. This is a slope coefficient, and six is a beta node. And y in the given function of y is equal to m x plus c, we observe the m is the slope and c the intercepts. So y is a dependent variable and x1 is an independent variable, or sometimes called the explanatory variable. So y intercept is actually observed to be 6 as observed. So it is equal to beta naught. So the beta naught actual is 6, which is the y intercept. So when we interpret the y intercept beta naught, this is a constant value that is the result of x which is equal to 0. And actually it does not uh, the intercepts of beta naught it actually implies that it does not cause any change towards the changes of dependent variable or independent variable or sometimes exponential variable so that is how it is also uh, what you need to understand here what about a beta ones that is a coefficient how do we interpret the coefficients the beta one the slope coefficient that is 1.4 so this is how we do. So for part B, as I told you, we are required to interpret the slope coefficient, the meaning of beta 1, the slope coefficient, that is 1.4 in our re regression model. So suppose we have now y estimated is equal to 6 plus 1.4x1. We understand the slope coefficient, that is 1.4. So the y estimated is equal to beta naught plus beta 1x1. So when we consider now to look on uh, where 1.4 the slope coefficient position we actually understand this the slope coefficient 1.4 it implies that an increase in one unit of x1 that is the dependent variable implies also there will be an increase the same increase amount of dependent variable that is y estimated as you observe to the same amount of unit so the slope coefficient 1.4 implies that when x1 increases by one unit, it leads also to y, estimated to increase with the same amount of unity. So actually we interpret this because our value is positive. If we could obtain the negative sign, we could interpret different from this meaning, as you observe. So the slope coefficient 1.4 implies that when x1 increases by one unit, it leads also to y, estimated to increase the same amount of unity. Now part C, we are required to predict about the y, the estimated, the predictable variable y, when we are given x, the independent variable. So how do we interpret the values of y when we are given x uh, is equal to 3.5? Now solution, we consider uh, to take out our uh, regression model estimated, that is 6 plus 1.4 x1. We plug in our x1, that is 3.5. Now, our predictable variable y estimated will be equal to 6 plus. We check our 1.4 times 3.5, which will give 4.9. So the answer will be equal to, we take out 6 plus 4.9, that is 10.9. So our y estimated is equal to 10.9, as we observe. So this is the predictable variable when given the dependent variable is 3.5, as you observe. So that is how we perform the question. So I welcome you to also other videos to cross check on more regression analysis. And I welcome you uh, welcome you to DC Economics. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.